This, yeah. Thank you. This, this has been a bravura performance yeah. from, the, from the minister. He's mentioned, he's mentioned our friend, the member for Fenner, so many times. Is, I was wondering whether we were having a fatal attraction moment. <laughs> he's talking so often of you. get this Pavlovian response. A Pavlovian response every time the member for Fenner opens his mouth, the minister has to jump to his feet. The other bizarre thing was this uh, reference back and forth talking about uh, National Party members and voters in, in the uh, member for Kingsford Smith's seat, <laughs> which made me think, what do you call a National Party member in Maroubra? An anomaly. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I know, I know the member for Whitlam would refer to them as tourists, but it's an anomaly. It's, we've, we've gone through everything. The reality is this plan is thrashing around for purpose. This plan is thrashing around for reason. This plan is thrashing around for any attempt, anything whatsoever, to save the Prime Minister, to be able to demonstrate that something, anything, is being done. It's not being done with any economic thought in mind. It's not being done to actually improve the economy in any meaningful way. I mean, they say, for example, on the other side, well, we need to do this to help, help companies. We need to do this to boost their profitability. We need to do this so that they can operate more efficiently. Look at what. Look at what. Well, let me let me explain to you this way, Member Fareed. You look at where dividends have gone, 2014 to 2017. Dividends have gone from 40 billion to 70 billion, 30 billion in three years. We need to put in a tax plan to be able to help those companies that are paying out, paying out to investors, paying out an extra 30 billion dollars. The money's there. Are they spending it on better wage outcomes? No. no. What have we got? What have we got? We've got record low wages growth. What else have we got? Record high underemployment. So these companies, they're not handing it out in terms of employees. And in fact, their own budget, their own budget will be interested to see what impact wages growth has on the budget. We'll be interested to see that. Are, are these businesses that have got these billions extra in dividends investing? No. What's CapEx doing under your watch? What is the level of business investment in this country under your watch? Tanking. Tanking. Absolutely flawed. So it's not that the money is being used for workers. It's not that the money is being used to improve the economy. It's going straight in to investors. And so what do these guys do? The, those opposite, their great plan is to take a big chunk of money that goes to investing in, for example, the skills of future Australians putting it into education, putting it into TAFE, putting it into schools, putting it into universities. No, we're not going to invest in that. What we're going to do is we're going to take a big slice of federal funds and hand it to a bunch of investors who've already got $30 billion extra in dividend growth, and then we're going to fund an even greater amount of money, take it off school kids, give it to investors. This tells you exactly, this tells you exactly what the values are of those opposite. They don't see an investment in education as a proper thing to do. No, no, that's bad debt. That's bad debt. We don't invest in, in school children. What we'll do is we'll just hand over all this money, of which, as you heard, the member for Charlton rightly points out, the member for Shortland, I should say, rightly points out, where does the bulk of the money also go? Eight billion of it goes offshore. Not invested here. Goes offshore. Goes away elsewhere. So this is what I'm saying. When I, when I indicate to people this is not a plan mired in improving the economic viability or the strength of the nation, no. This is not a plan for, for a longer-term view about what we should be doing as a country, no. This is just an idea. This is thrashing around for something, anything, to save those opposite, to be seen to be doing something. But here's the thing. Longer term, we lose out. We don't have that money. For education. We don't have that money for infrastructure. We don't have that money to actually strengthen the economy. It will just go straight out the door. It will be forgotten like yesterday's headline. And, and as a result, once we get this, if we were to get this plan through, what would happen? They would go on to the next big thing and stuff that up anyway. So the very thing that is being promoted as some way, some means of saving the Prime Minister will be forgotten in a heartbeat tomorrow. We, what we need is a longer-term view about what's good for the country. We do not need the short-termism that is being promoted by those opposite. Yeah.